It's way too hot to step on So swing and climb from vine to vine Like a monkey does it all the time Hot lava, hot lava, hot lava I don't know, I think that's bad advice um, how, much, how much do you think those guys drink when they go home from work every night? It's got to be I a lot, right? I think they drink right? before work. To be <laughs> yeah. At work. <laughs> I like drinking at work. It's a, it's a bummer. I can't so, if I remember correctly, the question was, how, how does he or she change their style? So, they've been wearing uh, what? T-shirt and, and hoodies. hoodies. T-shirt and hoodies since 10th grade, and they want to change their... Why would you stop wearing that? That's well, it depends, right? If you want to reinvent your yeah, where it depends. Look, all you, I mean, all you have style. to do if you want to like find something is when you walk around and shop, you just see something you like, and if it's too expensive, then you just look for something similar. There's a show called What Not to Wear. Just go on that show; they'll hook you up. Oh, okay. Check check out the show What Not to Wear. If you have more dollars than mm. cents, there's a website called Trump Club to go back. I where go back, you can I'll like I'll tell have to go them back your, and you tell them your measurements oh, and like what yeah. kind of style you like oh, and they'll send you clothes. I knew there was you have, a, you have a ten days you can send but it's back. It's expensive, it's right? It's expensive. Yeah. Or on your first date, you ask her what kind of clothes you should wear, and mm. she'll just pick them out for or you. Just go buy. I mean, a if that's the kind of relationship you want to have. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to get there eventually, so you're not going to save yourself the trouble. <laughs> Can I wear this? No. You no, to you're not wearing that. <laughs> D-Hide says, you know, I hate to say it, but Sundeep, that might be the most hilariously racist thing I've ever heard, and if anyone else had said it, they'd be fried for it. What? The you're Indian, 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 you have to do IT. Well, of course. That's how it works. It's always okay to make fun of yourself. It is never okay to make fun of other people, except Ben. Do you guys want to hear Brian's baby? Huh? Yes. Is the baby monitor on Brian right now? The baby monitor is turned on and it's in the bedroom, yeah. Can we switch up the, the two pieces of the baby monitor? Can <laughs> to Brian in his sleep? What's he, the stuff? Is he talking in his sleep? Actually, we could just throw up <laughs> Brian's we could on the Chromecast the Mario Marathon up to his bedroom TV. Turn Absolutely. on TV. And actually, if you kick it up there, it'll turn on the TV. Yeah. I found out. <laughs> Shanna found the help. <laughs> Brian, get up. We need your help. <laughs> she, went up take, she went up to take a shower, and I knew about it. So I was like, she was like, I want to watch the Mario Marathon. So I kicked it up to their TV. It turned on and turned on the Mario Marathon. <laughs> Behind a locked door. <laughs> I came out of the shower and was like, what is going on? How did somebody get in here? What I run off's internet won't play so, Mario Marathon. How'd you find that's that? not internet then. Yeah, that's, you should get a, re a refund on that. Cubby says, I'm part Native American and I feel like if I made fun of my Native American side, I'd be in trouble. Well, it depends on how you say it. You know, I can definitely get in trouble if I make fun of, you know, my heritage and my culture and things like that. But I can make fun of me. That's all I can say. What? Is that addressed to me? Mr. Boots? I think so. Wow. Okay. What's my opinion about food from different cultures? Yes. Shovel it in your face. And that is a serious, serious suggestion. That's actually an imperative statement. Just yeah, well, eat it. It's yes. kind of weird. Like, eat it. What a weird thing. Eat it. Like, Get lots of different like it's such a no, like <laughs> I can't imagine who's mean gonna that's been fermented <laughs> or it could mean that's from different countries. I feel what like I who's mean, gonna be like know. like oh it yeah food from different shirt. cultures avoid it. <gasps> but you don't even know what my culture it's is. Hot. <laughs> and I don't mean cute. I mean oh really sorry. Warm. It is very warm. So I think a lot of people are sharing their um, their yes, yes. occupations and how they've moved around and stuff like that and like we what they've done in computer science. And I would say for me, because I graduated with computer science, the best thing was being flexible and learning the whole time and never stop learning because it's always changing. And I've changed 
kind of the direction of my career gradually, but it's completely different now than it was when I first started. And I just think that keeps it interesting and fun. And I like my technology oh. background more now than I did when I first got out of college. There's no so way here's, really. here's a sub question for you, because I completely agree. I have a lot of people that I run into who are extremely change averse. And they expect uh, to get through. That's they a liability. I, I would say so, but the thing is they do not see that as such. And they're dumb. Huh? Then they're dumb. Not necessarily. They're just change averse. I, That's think. Just, I think it's oh, 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 it's scared. They're scared. scared. They're scared of the difference. Um, and, and then if that happens, it might be the case that bad things have to happen for them to learn that they're going to survive change. Yes, but what are That's my options, right? Fire them to teach them <laughs> that change is... I just looked and saw you wearing that. Oh, I Listen, guys, sometimes bad things are going to change, you know, and you just got to... <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of giving serious advice. Take me completely seriously. Wearing a toad hat, you're going to be fired. <laughs> this is my... Um, Right, wise okay. <laughs> Bridge switch. And the wise hey, Corey Deeper, if you're watching, thanks for thinking about us. Stool. Any other veterinary people here? When will see? Okay. You just spilled two drinks with one with one, <laughs> with one <laughs> drop. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> ah. All right. I'll keep, I guess I'll keep. To wipe up or something? No, it was almost empty. There's just a couple dribbles on. Are there carpet. any new flavors of that yummy stuff? That one root beer. That's or it. Dr. Dr. Pepper. Pepper. That's it. That the most recent me. one is Dr. Pepper because you told me about that. Mm -hmm. like, oh. Not my favorite. Wow, Dan. Donation. Advice giving hat. That's your advice giving hat. <sighs> and oh. so the reason we thought about doing this is because we have some we have some amazing life experiences right here. We've survived all of them. We enjoy what we do. And most of you guys watching night, are right at that stage where night, you're trying Shana. to get all of the stuff. So yeah. Good night, Shanna. Good night, Shanna. Wrong button. All right. 20 lives. Not good. No. Oh, yeah. I should have been grabbing that one. You know, you know the best part about Forgot doing about this that. is it gets the chat talking to each other and we can ignore them for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, every once in a while, I'm like, information overload. Hey, Catherine's here. Hi. Which one? Would I run off oh. on, the, on the Twitter nets? Nikki, I'm glad you asked so many questions. Windwolves, yes, Purdue does have a very good vet school. Yes. Significantly highly rated. You should check it out. If you want to be a vet. That's right. If you don't want to be a vet, just check it out anyway. I also get the feeling that a lot of people are questioning what they want to do, and sometimes the passion is generated by the extra effort you put in as well. Sometimes the more you work at something, the more you end up loving it. Now, Boy, granted, there's terrible. going to be things that are way off of your personality type, so I'm not saying, like, anything you work at. Like, you still have to have a little bit of a direction. But for me, you know, I was like, you know, I picked technology, and I thought, oh, I picked the wrong thing. But really, the harder I worked at it, the more I liked it. So what would you say to people who have a lot of trouble with, uh, with just challenging themselves? I come across a lot of people who try something and don't let it, don't what give the it a chance. And, you know, they get discouraged very, very quickly. So, and I will go so far as to say that seems to be a huge issue with STEM, uh, okay. science, technology, ah. engineering, math, Just hold in the U.S., down. specifically for girls, yeah. where they are not encouraged to break through the barriers, they are not encouraged to push through that. So if a, if a boy child was told, this, you know, had a math problem that they couldn't do, you know, there's all this, oh no, you've got to do this, you've got to strive, you've got to, and that's not necessarily there with... Yeah, I mean, the girl children. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, um, I wish there was an answer, right? An easy answer. Because it seems like at some point it clicks, Thank right? You. Like for everybody, like in certain areas, right? Like I can remember times where Thank I would you. look at certain problems and it would freak Where me out. Where do you want me to stop this time? Uh, 
You just let it go. But I, I, think. I don't know how to say how to get over me, that. Because so. the next time you do it, it's easier. The next time I mean, you do it, it's easier. Don't go with me now. Good what about you? Do you have anything to add to that? Enjoy being a paramedic. Who? Thanks for your awesome work that you do at your work. Who is Mr. Boots? Yeah. Cool. What's NYS? New York State. Nice. Whatever. Showing off. I'm dead nonetheless. I feel like when I'm wearing this hat, I need to move my head like an ass. <laughs> I'll duck. Did you say like an ass? That's <laughs> 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 close enough. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm just here to set y'all up for really good Nikki. comments. Thank you. Says, Peach Girl, any advice for a girl who wants to be a teacher? Just get some kids and teach the hell out of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wish I knew. I mean, I, I would just say anything is working hard, although I don't know a lot about the education. You were right. It wasn't you. Does State. anybody else here have experience in education? Uh, I'm a teacher none. right now. Oh, yeah. You said that the other day. I did. Any I've, advice for a girl that wants to be a teacher? Um, well, I've taught for uh, oh, is that what you mean? long, long, long Not time. Not now. Oh. Well, he does. He teaches everyone always, but he's uh, always teaching. He's not been paid to teach for a while. Actually, he was, um, Emily, who was in the chat earlier, he was her biology TA, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Jonathan R. Sharkey, thank you for That's how I know Emily. Uh, so, uh, what kind of teaching yeah. does this person want to do? Yes. Preschool is going to be a lot different <coughs> than high school. Just saying. And not much different than college. Well, that's true. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, there's a Yoshi there. Oh, oh. it's gone. <sighs> My wife is an English teacher for high school. She says, run. run. Alex Forte, thank you for your don donation. No, I mean, uh, thank you for your donation. That internship, camp counseling, hands-on stuff early and often sounds like good advice. Because there's, I think, different ways to get experience in each field, and I think those provide some education-related ones. I think that sounds... I mean, good. really, the answer to all these questions is, like, just do stuff, you know? <laughs> well, like, direct it at where, you're, where you think you're headed, right? Yeah. Like, so or, like, wherever, like... You know, so with teaching, there are several things that are going on in the U.S. right now. One is that there is a general malaise in culture about teachers and education. teaching. Education in general is not valued very highly. Uh, but uh, I will say that you need a, a lot of patience. You, you really. It's so I'm not really talking about commitment and you. and you know your commitment to the cause and things like that but you know somebody said there you have to worry about uh, politics administrative politics okay <laughs> you have to be able, be able to deal with know, getting very low pay uh, but you have to be you know it has to call it's a calling really so Right, because of all the demands on you once you are a teacher. Right? Yep, you it's very, very, very high. There's a reason that 54%, and this was when I last looked at the statistics, which is about 15 years ago, 54% of teachers only last about two years. So, what so there you go. Loves the work, hates the stuff that goes. Oh man, that's that great. Every that's job great news. ends up having a part of it that you end up hating too. I think that like yes, there are dream jobs, but I have friends that are artists, and they have to do paperwork for the stuff that they sell, and they have to do sell. the organization sell. stuff and the and set up the appointments and have yes. meetings, just like a business person. And they don't like that part, but they like making art. So it seems like a dream job, but there's always that business side of it or that thing that you don't like about it, you know. I'm also um, an artist too. You get you get people to oh do yeah, that stuff point. for you. <laughs> so, so you're well, my friend who was talking to me didn't like because she's you know not able to. <laughs> yeah, you get you yeah you eventually that's when you make it. You get people to do that stuff for you. The, the pieces yeah. I've sold have actually like, you know what? Just like have friends. This is 
have friends and do stuff. That's what I say. Yeah. You know, the two pieces I sold, I've sold three pieces. One was to my attorney, and the other two were uh, to a collector that, like a friend of mine, she was asking for proposals for this um, gallery that she was setting up What's shows for, and name? I gave her a proposal, yes. and yep. my work was in their gallery, and drawing. she sold two of my pieces, you know? like Yeah, that's cool. Nate, t-shirt drawing, midnight. Okay. Which one is it? Midnight. Was it for tweeting Thank or you. for giving? That's the question. Just it's the listed tweeting. on the contest page. Okay. English teacher at a high poverty school. Student apathy is a huge, huge obstacle. Uh, yeah. Mindy's question. Did you ever have any misgivings about leaving India? Ever think about going back for more than a visit? So all of these are possibilities. All of them are misgivings. All of them are uh, very pleasant things with no misgivings. It just is. So none of none of these. So these are all possibilities that you consider. You weigh them and you put them away. You know what kind of misgivings? So if I stayed in India, what kind of a life would I have had? Would I have had uh, the ability to sit here and raise money for child's play charity? I don't know. You know, these are not things, these are just statistical happenstance you. that you just go with. <clears throat> you don't, you don't lament excessively, you, you prepare, don't yeah. celebrate excessively, you just are. I think she was asking more specifically, you. I'm talking about me. You're also, it seems like you're giving advice to others. No, I'm talking about me because, you know, if... Would I have known 15 years ago that I would be <laughs> where I am now? I don't know. I have no idea. You never know what the future holds. You got a potato motor sense. Yeah, I don't know where I can bring that up. And I'm okay with that. Dig on it. I thought it'd be obvious. Oh, razzle. Um, <clears throat> go to. Nikki, you're Twitter. welcome for the advice. Um, it's not Twitter. One thing to remember is that we're Did just to people donation. too, so you know, oh, take our advice with a grain of salt. Oh, right. Change it to five. Or many, depending on who's giving it. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. I'm a big fan of just like, just coast, you know. Just do your thing. Put your thing down. Yeah. You know, if you gotta, you know, if you gotta take break from college for a while, you know. So here's so <laughs> here here's the thing, right? I cannot do, I cannot own my own business. My personality does not oh. lend itself towards that at all. So I should it be 10 p.m. midnight? It says. 12. No, it should be. See if you can get over here to where I. Oh, see if you can get to where I can get this one you've won out. So I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Can you like turn I mean, maybe so I can? The reach. last one was at ten though. You think you could you turn to between eight and midnight? Because there's not much going on. No, it's midnight. Going. It's a a donor. This is Twitter. Oh, I see. So it's a donor shirt giveaway, which was eight thirty-two. Should do eight. Uh, just go. Uh, so, Chris Carruthers yeah. says we're spot on yeah. talking about teaching on Mario Marathon stream. Wanting to teach is something you just inherently know. I would change oh, that a little on. bit to. Wanting to teach is something that you inherently want. <laughs> wow, that was flat. I know for me, deciding to become a teacher uh, was based on the fact that... Um, where's my... Oh, I always... Um, for me, deciding to become a teacher was that I was, I was you know walking around living my life and one day I was like you know I, I I'm constantly trying to teach people and it really hey, annoys okay, them uh, I bet they would I bet they would get annoyed less if it was my job so I did it and it's very similar to what she just said about you are teaching people always I do that too but the not but I I feel like I learn as much as I teach. You do. Oh, yeah. Oh, and that's, yeah. that's fun. People that teach also learn. 
those who can do, those who can't teach. But you know what? I know where those commas go, and you don't. <laughs> those who can do, those who can't teach. Oh. Those who can do, those who can't teach. <laughs> Chuck's flat. I have a friend whose wife has the similar um, what is aversion the, to the, what is the this? politics and the parents, and thus got out of teaching. Oh, got out of teaching? Yeah. Luckily, I don't have to deal with parents. Because you're teaching adults? Um, yeah. yeah. Well, I do. Yeah. Okay, we're doing the midnight t shirt you donor giveaway. Guy. Thank you. Alright, All right. so there's another one right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Get him. Ah. I think if he disappears on the first time he shows up there. So he's probably alright. So I think I'm going to get that for an hour or two. And then I will be back. Are you headed back? Are you awake? There he is! The Willy! Okay. Okay. Just keep it right, keep it tight. Alright. There's the flag. Metro Forever, have you asked your girlfriend why she wants to be a teacher? Maybe that would be a good way to find out. <sighs> Hi Carolyn. <sighs> That's a good thing to ask on the first date. Do you want to be a teacher? Do you want to teach me some stuff? Okay, Carolyn me, says, well, people do the things. <laughs> <laughs> so, now this, this is very conflicting, right? Do I follow it or not? I think you should. Oh. Yeah, Doesn't that give it legitimacy? <laughs> yes. Okay. Are you following it? It didn't work very well. <laughs> yeah. Okay, 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 okay. This is serious now. It is the last boss of the game. It smells really good. What is that smell? Is, that, is this hair. the hat? That's her hair or shampoo yeah. or something. Oh, it smells like my hair? Yeah. Oh. Hey, is there a checkpoint after that? What shampoo do you use? Part? Yeah. Uh, okay. Alterna Caviar. Mm. Also a good Anti aging shampoo. Date. So, I, uh, rubber gamer, I worked out like a year shakes. ago. I uh, I rubbed a bunch of caviar on this girl's face the other day and then made out with her. That's yeah. the first time I ever heard that. Cookie says, it I was will gross. lose my Twitter followers and drain so my bank account $5 gross. at a time. I almost will get a t shirt. I got a second that. <laughs> PNH girl says thanks, thanks to you Mickey. watching. Oh, whoops. thanks to watching you guys playing Galaxy What's Two. Up? Now I have not played oh, no. it in forever, so I'm playing it from the beginning now. Oh, am I doing have something? Fun. I don't know. <laughs> You'll probably be done with these guys. Raw, <laughs> 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 All right, let's go. There what you go. Oh wow. Kind of looks gross. Oh yeah, I almost puked. Have you seen them? No. I've seen the stick, but I've not seen the... Yeah, I've not... Colton, I think you're right. That is probably the first, sentence that, first time that sentence has ever been said. <laughs> oh, nuts. I don't know if there's anything I can do. Don't and then he took pictures of it. Mm. Too Did late? Did you ever find out any details about how the attack occurred? What are we talking about? The DDoS. No. Yeah. No. I didn't know if we had, you know, man. heard back from Oh, man. Brian's not, Brian's, Brian's not actually sleeping. He's actually uh, committing murder. What? Edward Ever. Jones. Thanks. You can't see the feed, but we're talking to you anyway. <laughs> man, this is what? How are, you, are you doing anything to fight him? Well, I'm trying. Okay. It's no. Not, it's not, not really oh. working. Well. Hey, Earthquake. Bowser fight is intense. Oh, okay, this is those insane. things. Insane. Got to get on those. There you go. 
I mean, if we blast these rocks, it's and he's not, point. is he already annoyed? Yes. As in, this is the final. No idea. That might be it. Oh my gosh, I was just gonna look at the clock and say I was gonna leave it. No, now he gets now annoyed. It's 30. <laughs> oh yeah, now he's really mad. That's awesome. Yeah, he stays yeah. like 12:30 p.m. Crap! I really need a coin. Oh. Slot. Ah. Uh, All right. <sighs> Bowser pound. Bowser fight looks intense. Uh, yeah, okay. yep. I'll be back in like a couple of hours. Okay. Do they need to wake you up? Are you threatening? <laughs> what? Will you wake me up? Before I go go? No, no. Let the <laughs> no, no. It will, it will be before, before I go go. Before you go go. Don't yeah, I can wake you up. No, I do. Um, I'll just be in the. You know what? No. You went all the way to Meyer and you didn't yeah. get the appropriate supplies for the potential gravy. You're fired as a gravy lover. I thought, I would have just assumed that Brian would have them on hand, I mean... Who's making gravy? I was thinking about it. Maybe. Uh, I'll let you I might come morning. tomorrow morning. Maybe gravy. It depends on how good the gravy is. <laughs> Maybe it's gravy. gravy. Good uh, gravy. Good. <laughs> good. Right. Oh, the good. <laughs> well, there was a long discussion today because okay. PD for I and Dark was talking about virtually. how good, good. cold donuts good. were. Uh, he no. said cold donuts are good. We're like this is making me mad. better than warm donuts. Cold donuts. And we're like, well, you're allowed to have your opinion, but you're not allowed to be flat frickin' wrong. <laughs> I'll be back soon, Internet. And he's and he was telling me how Goo. good how good his donuts <laughs> were. <laughs> he's telling me how good his donuts were, and then he showed me a Dunkin' Donuts box. Hey, Chuck Splat, we're talking about gravy because gravy is awesome, but please I don't, don't think yell and warm chat. cake donuts make much of a difference between Thank cold you. cake donuts, but if you're talking like the yeast glazed donuts, they gotta be warm. Yeah. If I mean, they can be, I'll, you gotta have it. I'll, I'll certainly eat <laughs> Not donuts. <laughs> uh, right again. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll certainly eat well, but cold then, glazed donuts. But and here we go. <laughs> <laughs> But, Goo. but then a bunch of people were chiming in that they didn't Goo. like gravy. Goo. 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 You know what? If you switch the first part of the word donut, it would be good nuts. <laughs> what? <laughs> if you switched it? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> no, I no, you do. don't. I think you do indeed. <laughs> hey, well. Player two, I think you can assist. How does it work? <laughs> I don't know. If you can just hold on to that coin. Maybe. Maybe. No, right. Right. Oh, sorry. Because I haven't gotten hit yet. Okay, so. okay, yeah, sorry. I'm I think you can assist with the, when the blocks go up, when the balls go up in the air. Oh, okay. 3D and 3D, yes. I think you can Microwave and donut something. is good time. Oh. a little extra time. Mm -hmm. Like only like 12 seconds. Yeah, if you can't get it like fresh off the, the donut wheel, then, you know, microwave Got is it. the next best thing. Um. Anyone on the chat's been to Voodoo Donuts? My... My mom sent me a picture from there today. Important. Really? Yes. That's hilarious. Goo. She, 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 <laughs> all right. Every time there's a silence, I'm just gonna say goo. SBO Would that be okay, it? Okay, Robin. That I might be it. Mean, maybe you should call it a night. <laughs> what does that mean? You're drunk. <laughs> oh. Oh, trust me, she's not drunk. <laughs> I'm just. I've crazy. seen that. <laughs> Mr. Boots, we figured that, but thank you. Have a good night and be paramedically awesome. I'm not drunk. Anymore. Yes, we did break Robin. Cool. I was earlier. <laughs> Faranox loves it when people are live on the internet and hilariously tired. Hey, Dan. Boosh. By the way, are you watching Boosh. Mario Marathon? Has I'm anyone not. been to Voodoo Donuts that's not in Portland? I think they have one in, like, Colorado now, and I just wonder if it's, like, mm -hmm. as I thought it good was, as uh, the original. Isn't it, uh, isn't it, um... Is it a New Orleans thing? You I always guys, assumed it was a New Orleans thing because it's weird. You didn't glasses oh. while you are fighting the boss. Oh, you gotta go back and redo it. Why wouldn't you do that? Hey, guess what, Mario? I don't wanna, like, we're not friends. <laughs> Couchman says, I've walked by a voodoo, couple, voodoo a couple times. Now, lineup never seemed worth it. The lineup never yeah, seemed Yeah, the more line good. is really long, but there's oh, the one that's line. like, there's one that I've been to a couple times that's like not the like downtown one or whatever, and it was like, um, I've never oh, waited in a line these? there. Jeez. Yeah. 
How's that for aim? I like Voodoo. It's yeah, got Thunderhead. cool character and stuff like that, but it's like not my favorite yeah. of the wacky new donut craze. Oh my gosh, Cafe du...